Well, here I am again. I hope you guys don't get tired of me, but I really don't care if you do. I'm going to just keep giving you this stuff as God has given it to me. Just downloads are just coming, coming, coming. So today I'm actually driving, head, headed to a conference, headed to the ATL today. Excited about that. But listen, we've been talking, we did two other segments, two other videos. Make sure you get to check those out. Now, in the last one, we were talking about the difference between a poverty mind and a poverty, a poverty created circumstance, a poverty creating circumstance. Now, the other question that was asked of somebody asked me was, what, how do you know? Now, this is a person who's extremely gifted, lots of talent, lots of reason, but because of a circumstance that was created, she said, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Where do I begin? So here's what you have to decide. When it comes to a person who's multi-talented, and I know at times being multi-talented can sometimes feel like it is not a gift. But I heard Tyler Perry say this, and it really it struck home with me. It reminded me, and it, it and I took his advice and implemented. It, so I'm really just sharing his advice with you, and I'm adding to it. When it comes to deciding or figuring out, you've got to make some adjustments. Your finances are down. You don't have the money. You don't have the income, and you've got to get on track. So the first thing that to do that you do to get on track is most people in activating income streams. The first thing you're going to have to do is get a job. Now, in terms of figuring out what kind of job do you look for, do you go after, or which project do you step into, it could be a job, it could be a project. Number one thing you're going to do is make a list, okay? The key to getting yourself advanced is you have to one, know yourself. What are you good at? So point one, what am I good at? Make a list of all the things. Now, so for example, uh, I'm going to use uh, this example. That this this person's really gifted. They're gifted in organization. They're gifted in coaching people with, through exercise. They're gifted in um, in uh, coordinating. They're gifted in just a really good skills. Lots of skills. Now, but so what you're going to do is make a list of all those skills. And again, I'll use myself. I sing. I write. I have a program that I have loved, okay? Love it, love it, love it. But what I once I make the list, then I go back to the list and I say, now what on this list is God breathing upon? Or what has God prospered? Which one of these things was God prospering or activating movement on the most and the most recently? And then you just ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, is this where I need to start? Now, for example, I had like remember you, you guys remember the video that you probably that probably brought you here, my testimony. That video had been posted for five years. In, in five years, it only had like eighty thousand views, and then all of a sudden, that video doubled in views in ten days. It went from eighty thousand to almost a hundred and sixty thousand views in ten days. God breathed upon that video. Only God can do that kind of stuff. So when he breathed upon it, that let me know all of the other stuff that I was doing. I needed to put that stuff down and focus on creating content and targeting that thing because that's where God was saying, I want you to pay attention to this because I'm touching it. Now, it would have been foolish for me to go and to do all of the other things that I do. I mean, I've got some really great stuff. I've got great educational programs, great workshops, great stuff. Okay. Now, here's another example. That was so that's some that's something that the Lord is saying, I'm breathing on this. Take action. So number one, make a list of all the things that you're good at, all the things that you've been moving on, all the things that are in your heart. And then ask yourself this question: what is God? breathing on or what has God breathe breathe on before what did he prosper what was you know what what were, were there people interested in you did you make something and everybody all of a sudden everybody uh, all of a sudden yeah I'm sorry I, I got distracted for a second all of a sudden everybody <laughs> starts paying attention to it and they say I want to buy that I want to buy that okay so you make that list and then determine what is God breathing on. Once you figure out what God is breathing on, that's where you know you need to start taking action in that direction. And that's where you are, your time with Holy Spirit, this is where Holy Spirit is going to come in and help you. Now, 
here's another thing that confuses a lot of churchy people okay churchy people think the holy spirit is going to do the work for you holy spirit is not going to make your list he's not going to make your call call your contacts he is the helper okay he's the helper he comes to help you do the things that you need to do but he is not going to do your job you have to do your job now in the book of psalms uh, i believe psalms 90 one of the one of my go-to passages in terms of kind of kicking myself in the butt the word of god says that the lord will confirm and david prays he said lord confirm and establish the works of my hands whose hands is he going to confirm so your hands have to be doing something for god to confirm it and your hands have to be doing something for god to establish it if you're sitting at home waiting on God to do something for you, you will be broke and poor. Mm. So you have to determine what am I supposed to be doing? Now, how do you know what you're supposed to be doing? Make the list, get the list, itemize all of the things, the projects, the interests that you have. And then you say, as many, it may be 10 items on there, but ask yourself, what is God breathing on? Take that one. Okay. You got me? Thank you so much. Till the next one, we'll be back.